Hello everyone, this is Hobby Crochet and today I want to show how I made this trendy, very trendy 2020 bucket hat and this holds the shape it is fully adjustable it started with the circle and you can make it larger or smaller depending on the size of your hat and then you want to you can adjust the sides you can again make it longer or shorter you can just put it on your head and see how it goes and then the brim I wanted to make quite small one this is relatively small for the head you can see it in a video it is a nice little cute head but if you want to make the brim larger you will need to add a few extra rows I wanted to mention that this pattern is not um, just a simple single crochet pattern. You can see those lovely little rows I've made. It's a special pattern. And another task was here that to make it nice that uh, you can't really see the, uh, like uh, increase in the circle. Make it nice and even increase. So we will be adjusting the, our increases and I will show you how to do it. It's, no, it's not very hard but the result is nice. I will be using a budget yarn. You know I'm not so wealthy and I would like to you know, use just ordinary yarn. And this one is oldie. Quite cheap one. 100 grams, 300 meters acrylic. And I will be using two strings and the hook number eight or five millimeters I will start but by making magic loop or magic circle insert your hook picking the yarn pull it out and make a loop with the working yarn this will not count as your first single crochet this is just the loop six single crochets one two three four five Six, row two, increase in every stitch, so two single crochets into the first stitch, two single crochet into the next. Two single crochet into the third, two single crochet into the fourth, fifth, and sixth. And I should have have twelve stitches. If you count the number of stitches, one, two. Yeah, this is first very small one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Row three. Increase will be one single crochet and increase. And I want to start making the pattern. The pattern, as I said, I will work into the middle of single crochet. not under two of those uh, loops as we used to I will work into the middle it will give me my head firmer shape it will hold better when you take make single crochet you pull this loop a little bit making it larger and it will help you to work into the middle of single crochets so one single crochet and increase
one, two, one single crochet and increase two single crochet. I'm trying to get into the middle of single crochet. one single crochet and two single crochet into the next one work into the middle it should come into from the middle and come out on the other side also in the middle of single crochet so I've made one and one more into the same stitch one and two into the middle first row is always very difficult then it will go easier so this is row three and at the end of row three I should have 18 stitches And two last, last increase, two single crochet into the same stitch, one and two, next row it will be increase and two single crochet So increase will be into this stitch, next stitch, one, two, pull this loop a little bit, and two single crochet, don't forget to mark your first stitch, so this is my next single crochet very sunny increase two single crochet into the same stitch and two single crochets and I will finish the row row five three single crochet and increase one two three and increase and again one two three and increase one two three and increase this is the pattern for row five and at the end of the row I should have 30 single crochets, 30 stitches. If you want your circle to be nice and circle that you can't really see the shape where you did increase, you need to change the, the beginning of the row. I shouldn't mark my first stitch as this one because I will move my first stitch onto this stitch. You see, this is where I make, made increase two single crochet and this is two single crochets so and I, I have three single crochets in between one two three so my first stitch will be here 
and I will make increase into this first stitch so I need to move one more single crochet and start the row with this single crochet so this is my first stitch I will mark this and I will start with increase increase and four single crochets one two three four and increase and I will finish the row four single crochets and increase two three four and increase into the next stitch for row seven I need to find first of all the middle where I will start the row it will be the middle of between two decree increases so I've got increase increase and four single crochets in between I will start with eighth of those single crochet I will start with this one so I will have to make one two three single crochet and start the row from this one one two and three and this will be first stitch of this row and it will be increase and the pattern for this row will be increase and five single crochet so five single crochets one two three four five and increase two single crochet into the same stitch and this is the same till the end of the row for next row I need to find again the middle of increases so it was six uh, it was five single crochet so this middle one will be the beginning of my row so I need to move one two three four stitches one two three four and this will be the beginning of my row increase mark your first stitch and now it will be six single crochets between increases six single crochet increase six single crochet increase and so on till the end of the row every next row you will basically do exactly the same find two increases and move the beginning of the row between those two increases start with making increase at the beginning of the row and then continue making single crochets and increase and amount of single crochets will be also increased by one if uh, it was five single crochets in the previous row six single crochets was in this row so next row will be increase and seven single crochet then increase eight single crochet and so on if this circle is nice shape you are doing fine if it start you know like wobbling it means you've 
you've made maybe a little bit too much increases. Uh, it it doesn't it doesn't mean that uh, you've made a mistake. It's just that um, your yarn or your hook or your tension something. The easiest way to fix it that next row you will not make any increases. You will just go flat with single crochet in each stitch. So and you will continue making this. Um, Till the circle you want to be on your on the top of your head. For this head, I made twelve rows like this, and this. Then I will start making the sides of the head. So let's see how many rows I will make here, and you can pause the video and finish your circle. At the end of row 12, I have 70 stitches around and this will measure as 17 and half centimeters or almost 7 inches and my head around is 55 centimeters. I think this is enough for my head. If your head is bigger, make two more rows. If your head is smaller, may, maybe reduce one row or two rows. Now I'm making the side of the head. I will not make any decrease or any increase. I will just make flat one single crochet into each stitch. I will mark my first stitch and just go around one single crochet into each stitch. This is what I've got after row 26. I've done um, 14 rows of the side and 12 rows on the top. But you don't worry about amount of rows, about amount of stitches, because uh, it can be different if you use different yarn or different, uh, or you have different tension. So from top, if I measure it, it will be 16 centimeters. And when I put this on my head, it, um, the side will touch my ears. So this is how I want it. And then I will make a nice little brim. If you want nice little brim, you will do as I do. Or if you want longer brim, wider. You will increase it for two rows. I'll just put my camera down. So for the brims, let me mark my first stitch. And we will make more increases. So the pattern will be four single crochets and increase. So one, two, three, four, and increase. This pattern will be for any size head. And again, four single crochets and increase. And I will finish the row like this. And increase. Row 27. 
will be one single crochet in each stitch it will be no increase row 29 I will make increase it will be three single crochet one two three and increase two single crochet into the same stitch one and two and again three single crochets and increase one, two, three, and increase. And I will keep doing the same pattern till the end of the row. Row 30 and row 31, I will make one single crochet into each stitch. And end at the end of row 31, your head will look like this. Nice little brim. Next row, I want to make very small increase. So increase will be in every 10 stitches. So I will make 10 single crochets and then increase two three four nine ten and increase And this was the final row for my head. I will not make any more rows, but if you want your brim to be larger, you are welcome to make a few more rows. I like my head to have this little tiny brim. It looks cute. And your trendy head is ready. Enjoy your bucket head and thank you very much for watching.